let's try to find some data to play with here I got this data from uh, a website for the weather underground uh, I copied this data here I saw that there is some missing data here within rain value okay wind value and etc so first of all I copied this data here and I put it inside Excel file you want to use this data okay how to copy it and paste it from the website it's easy as if you like to follow for example uh, a specific range of time okay and from custom here we choose your station and you take the a custom range then simply as you can just follow this data by copying like this and okay, then on your data so for example I copied for just two or three months so you control copy actually if you try to copy now direct and paste here it's uh, it you will face a problem so you will just need to have a empty text editor so you just control V you paste it here again you copy this data control A copy and then you come to the Excel then you just go to paste use text import you see the data now next the tab it will make the data clear now with the tab if you follow semicolon no it's not useful tab comma no space no you see there will be some jumps here so it's usually it's tab so you tab and then next and finish you see now our data is coming in the proper way here okay so you need to clean this data you need to have at least one header okay so try to take the data that it's useful for you so i clean this i delete it here i keep for example for january since i start with the january i need to have another header here for february i will just continue with the again this is the same attributes that uh, above so no need to have one two again see just continue with the date so i follow this way okay so since you know that in january it has a 31 day so 32 it's the first of february that will be easier for you try to follow this style better than you are changing months every the, the value of the months just keep it numeric okay after that i deleted some data here just for exercise okay so i apply some missing data for you then i save it you should work on save as dot csv dot c as you comma delete it okay so here in in this one actually otherwise if you want to use excel direct there is a, there will be a package you need to install to deal with excel data otherwise if for the easy way that you just convert to csv and you save it now okay okay yes okay so then you close this save. now you have your csv data 